Thank you all for coming. Today I'm honored to meet with Taiwan's President Tsai. As she transits the United States, Fittingly, our discussion took place here at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Here at his library, there are countless exhibits that capture President Reagan's patriotic spirit, his belief in democracy, and commitment to the ideas of peace and freedom. Those values have always served as the bedrock of our friendship with the people of Taiwan. And they are more important now than ever before. I believe our bond is stronger now than at any time or point in my lifetime. And of course, President Tsai is a great champion of that bond. Taiwan is a successful democracy, a thriving economy, and a global leader in health and science. And whether it's our deep commercial ties, strong people-to-people -people relationships, our shared values, our cooperation with the people of Taiwan continue to expand through dialogue and exchange. The friendship between the people of Taiwan and America is a matter of profound importance to the free world. And it is critical to maintain economic freedom, peace, and regional stability. We will honor our obligations and reiterate our commitment to our shared values behind which all Americans are united. Today was a bipartisan meeting of Republicans and Democrats united together in a place that symbolizes the freedom and the commitment and the bond that's only become stronger with the President with us today. President Tsai? To Speaker McCarthy, friends, I am delighted to visit the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library once again. This time with Speaker McCarthy and distinguished members of the Congress. I want to thank Speaker McCarthy for his warm hospitality and for his invitation to bipartisan congressional leaders who have taken time out of their busy schedules to join us today. Their presence and unwavering support reassure the people of Taiwan that we are not isolated and we are not alone. It is especially fitting for us to meet here to pay tribute to a distinguished American president and world leader. A man who also played a crucial role in partnership with the US Congress in protecting and fortifying US-Taiwan relations at a time of changing diplomatic realities. President Reagan's six assurances of 1982 on top of the landmark Taiwan Relations Act passed by the Congress, laid the foundation for a strong and unique partnership of over four decades, during which we have maintained peace and promoted prosperity and welcomed the advent of Taiwan's democracy. However, it is no secret that today the peace that we have maintained and the democracy which have worked hard to build are facing unprecedented challenges. We once again find ourselves in a world where democracy is under threat and the urgency of keeping the beacon of freedom shining cannot be understated. President Reagan, President Reagan said it best, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. It must be fought for and defended constantly really, by each generation. In the discussion with congressional leaders this morning, 
I reiterated Taiwan's commitment to defending the peaceful status quo, where the people of Taiwan may continue to thrive in a free and open society. I also highlighted a belief which President Reagan championed that to preserve peace, we must be strong. I would like to add that we are stronger when we are together. For this, I also express uh, our deepest gratitude on behalf of the Taiwanese people to members of the Congress on both aisle, on both sides of the aisle, and a number of initiatives that have helped to make Taiwan and our partnership stronger. Specifically, initiatives in the realms of enhancing Taiwan's self-defense capabilities, fostering robust trade and economic ties between us, and supporting Taiwan's meaningful participation in the international community, have all served to safeguard our shared interests in peace and prosperity across the Indo-Pacific. Taiwan strives to be a reliable partner to the world, a cornerstone for stability in the region, and a force for good. There is saying in the Confucian analysts, that is, one who is virtuous will not stand alone. In our efforts to protect our way of life, Taiwan is grateful to have the United States of America by our side. As we confront the unique challenges of our time, let us be mindful of the principles that have forged our great partnerships and bear in mind the lessons President Reagan's enduring legacy. Once again, thank you, Speaker McCarthy, for your warmth and for your friendship. Thank you to all our friends in Congress for standing by Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you, President. Thank you. President Tsai, do you have a message for President Xi?